What is up, everybody? My name is Dylan. Welcome to Clutch Trading. Make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. I'm also known as Dr. Clutch, and I'm going to lead you on your journey to trading options so that you are successful in everything that you do. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to start off by checking out our Thinkorswim and getting that set up with the indicators that I use personally to trade using the Strat. And we'll go over all that stuff later, and you probably already know it from some of our sessions, but let's get right into the nitty gritty on how to get it all set up. So I want to be able to show my entire desktop and you should be able to see it now. Now, when you first sign in to your Thinkorswim account, it's going to ask you about the terms and service conditions and things like that. You're just going to agree to all and then click continue. And it's going to bring you up to this screen right here, which is going to be your home screen. This will probably be sticking out. You can minimize that by just clicking that sidebar right there. And then the first thing that we want to do is go to charts. Now we see charts. It's going to be empty for you. Type in SPY right in here to the top. And this is going to bring us to the ticker SPY and show us everything that we see here. Of course, you also probably look different depending on the day of the week that you are watching this video and doing this live yourself. The second thing that we're going to do is come and it'll be at the bottom inside of the description. I'll have a link to this. This is what you're going to use right here. You're going to copy and paste this from the Google Docs. Copy that. Come back to your, your charts over here and you're gonna click on setup. And when you click on setup, it's gonna have an option that says open shared item. You're gonna click open shared item and then you're gonna just paste it right in there. Hit preview and then boom, it's gonna have it plugged in right here, but this is gonna be red. So quick tip, all you gotta do is delete until that period is gone and then hit import. Once it's imported, the next thing that you'll do is come over to studies and you'll do edit studies and then you'll type in strat and you'll see strat numbers right here. Double click that, it'll come right in there and you'll hit apply. Okay, and now boom, you have your two ups, your threes, your ones, everything is laid out here for you, for you to be able to see. And that is the first step on how to have this ready to go so that you can start trading using the strat. Now, the next thing that I will show you is a little bit more tedious, but it's important that we do it. Sometimes the tedious work is the most important work, but it's going to get you your time frame continuity bar set up. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to copy this. You're going to come right back over to setup, open shared item. You're going to paste it in there, preview. It's going to do the same thing, only this time it's going to have this weird script thing in here. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it TFC for time frame continuity, and I'm gonna hit import. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky, guys. You wanna come back over here to the studies and then edit, and then you're gonna type in right here, TFC, and you're gonna add it, but you're not gonna add it once, you're gonna add it eight times. So you're gonna double click it over and over and over again until you get eight of them. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Okay, now once you have eight of them here, you're going to come into the settings. And from the smallest to the largest, you're going to change it from one minute. Then you're going to come to the next one. You're going to change the next one to five minute. You're going to change the following one to 15 minute and so on. We're going to work all our way down till we get to the 30 minute the hour, and then we're going to change those weeks to actual months as well. We're at the hour right now, right? Yep, yep, yep. Boom, there we go. Scrolling a little too fast for my own good. Oh, no, we need to do the 30 minute. See, this is why we do it live, guys. You know, sometimes we make mistakes, but as long as we catch it together, we're going to get to the promised land. So now we're at the hour, and it's not as tedious when you do it this way, you know, when you knock it out the first time you're good to go the day you're going to leave the day the same after day you're going to skip and change this to week and then month for the very last one you hit apply and then as you can see in the top corner here we have these red bars this means that it's red time frame continuity for the day the week and the month however if we change our time frame right in here you'll see that we're going to be able to Go down to the minute, and in the minute it'll show full time frame continuity in here. 
So right now we're in after market, so it's not reading anything really correctly. But during the live market, these will be green or red. It is a white symbolizing that it is a doji candle, meaning completely sideways. But nothing we got to worry about right now. It's really because we're in the white market because of the after hours. Now, after that, I want to go over a couple of things really quick to help you out with your trading journey. So you will notice that to trade, you will sometimes want to change your drawings. And then when you come in here, you gotta go to drawing tools and then come down here and you're probably wondering what the heck these things are. The four things that we're gonna focus on are really right here at the top, okay? But there's two ways to get to it, actually three. So there's the drawing, actually four. And I'll show you the, the best two later. So there's clicking this button, coming back down to drawing tools and then selecting it. Too much work. And if you look at the very bottom right down here, you see this little arrow. You can click on that and get access to your drawing tools. Too much work. If you have a mouse, and I suggest just getting a mouse, if you use the scroll wheel and just click it in anywhere on the chart, you'll see that this will pop up for you. So you can quickly take this, and what this arrow does is it allows you to zoom in into specific areas of the chart. You can zoom out right down here with these buttons. Pointer is going to allow you to drag back and forth. You can even change how much you can see right in here by dragging the side wheel and dragging this up and down. And then from there, you can even release it so that it can move around more freely. The next thing we have is a price target, which is we're going to show you how to edit this right here. And Next thing is a tread line, and I will show you how to edit this as well so that it actually gets to be really easy for you. So those are the four tools that you're gonna mainly be using. You're gonna switch between these all the time when you are trading. So just be aware of that and get comfortable with it. If you ever get lost, like I just did, you can double click anywhere on the chart and it'll zoom out for you so that you can see everything. Now, I told you that there was four. We went over one, two, and then three, but there is a fourth way to do it. So if you come to style and then hit settings, you can come to my tools and turn this onto each chart and then hit apply and okay. And then right up here on the top, you can see that we have a toolbar set now. And on the toolbar, you can actually edit this by clicking the gear wheel right here and add a button. So we've got the tread line, the text, no, simple moving average. We re I really don't typically use these two. I may start using the text as I show more things live, but we'll come down to the drawing tool, we'll add the pan, we'll come to the drawing tool, we'll add the pointer, and then we'll add the price level because these are very, very, very important. You can drag them around and put them in any order that you would like as well, however you see fit for your trading journey. You can select it, you can rename it, you can delete one if you want just by clicking it, left clicking it, boom, you're good to go. So I just made mine real simple right here and we're gonna hit done right here in the top corner. And now it is there for good. Now you can unpin it if you want or pin it if you want, right? So it's gonna stay there. And if I unpin it, if I'm moving around, see it, it just disappeared already, but if I, bring my, my mouse back up, you'll see that it'll come back up. I like to keep mine pinned in and then we're good to go. Now, two things that I want you to do right from the beginning is you see how when I click that and I move my mouse, it kind of shifted away and I want to place it. It's all the way up here and I wanted to mark it right here at the top of this wick, but I just couldn't couldn't get it to it quick enough. So if you come to edit properties, one thing that I like to do is I like to show the price on the right side or the left side, whichever is your preference, and then keep the right extension on. You're gonna save that as a default. I personally like mine to be green. And you will save that as default and then boom, you're good to go. So now they're green and it shows you the price level right in here, that's really important. And then with the tread line, Let's say I want to connect this to this top one right here, but this top one, it's 
not really locking on. As you can see, it kind of went past that and it's still sticking above this one right over here. So what you'll do is you'll edit the properties. You can turn the right extension on and the left extension on if you'd like. And just to show you what that looks like is it, boom, it sends it out to both sides. Now, when I'm drawing broadening formations, I always keep the right side on and then you can change the colors right in here. The style is just showing kind of dotted lines or hyphenated lines of that nature. And you can see what that looks like there as well too. So that is two indicators that you need to add with the code into Thinkorswim for you to use. There are two things that I actually use that are built inside of Thinkorswim. So one thing that I like to use is the Parabola SAR. Um, so if you come to studies, edit studies, we're gonna make it really easy. Parabolic SAR, add that by double clicking it. The next thing that you're gonna add is the MACD, searching this, double clicking that. And then the other thing you will add is the RSI, add that, hit apply, okay. And now boom, now we've got our volume, our MACD and our RSI. And these are really just confirmations that I use when I'm trading. It's not anything that I necessarily base my trades off of, but the RSI will tell me when the stock is overbought and as well as when it's oversold. The MACD will tell me when it's above the zero line of being sold or being bought up. And of course we have the volume down here. Now, real quickly, we'll zoom in really quick. And I personally edit my parabolic SAR to be arrows and orange. Oh, I think yellow actually is what I have it as. Yeah, so I like the way it looks like this. Now we can get into exponential moving averages and stuff like that, but I don't wanna cloud up your chart too much. This is actually a really pretty look. You can come right in here, scroll this down and you can even, uh, or actually you could scroll it up if you want to, scroll it up, scroll it down. You can zoom in on these as well if you'd like, the same way that you can with the charts, right in here in these sections. If there's for any reason why you would ever want to do that, I never do. And I think that that just about covers everything. Um, oh, no, actually, one more thing. So, yes, definitely come to style, hit settings, and then you're going to come to snap to drawing, and you're going to select. OHLC, apply, okay. Now this is what's gonna make your drawings snap too. You see that? Now, boom, they're connected exactly the way that I want them to be. Instead of me having to guess, and you see how it's snapped right to it and it's gonna lock onto the target much easier. Whenever you are doing your price level, it'll do the same. You just wanna double click it instead of single clicking, because if you single click it, you'll see it starts to move away from you and then it won't lock on the same way. You'll have to come back, get it to lock on and then finalize that click. So just by double clicking it, it will avoid that extra little time. But that is how you set everything up. This is the way that I use my indicators and I use my charts on Thinkorswim. I hope that you learn how to set it up really well. Watch this as many times as you need to and be sure to check out the description of the video it will have the Google Docs shareable for you to be able to pull these things up and put them on yourself. If you see anything else on it, I will have other videos in the future on how to add those things, what they do and why I use them. Thank you so much. Be sure to like and subscribe. May the Heavenly Father bless you.